Alright guys, thank you for checking in the Stormtopia.com, the Stormtopia.com Facebook page, we have our daily weather update right now. Plenty of uncertainty to follow the possible storm coming up this weekend, but we're going to give our latest thinking in this video. The polar vortex seems to be setting up somewhere in here, okay? And it looks like the clipper is going to make its way around it, and this gray shaded area here, light snow, very light snow, and clipper impacts. Probably going to pick up, like I said in my discussion above this video, a couple inches of fluff here. The question is, with this clipper, what happens when it makes its way offshore? What is its track? Anywhere between New York City and Dover it takes New York City. It's going to go back into here. The Neuralon Trap is a major influence, and there could be a major snowstorm for New England. It takes this track, things would probably pan out pretty differently for the area. And, of course, it could go anywhere in between. And that's tr what the models don't agree on, the track. Now, let's take you to a couple of the different guidance products now. Start you off with the GFS. Here at the beginning of the loop, guys, we've got the uh, polar vortex here, the clipper to the southeast of it. Clipper works its way around, okay, and it makes its way offshore. Nah, probably around Philly is where its offshore point is. Here's where the um, Nurlon trough sets up. Heavy snow there, but the Nurlon trough progressively makes its way off to the northeast as well as the low pressure center, and eventually the storm is done by early Sunday. Now, then of course we're loading the guns for a new storm in here, but that's a different story. We got the European, which is interesting here, Euro. Here's the polar vortex over, mm, I can kind of align this correctly. Here's the polar vortex, you see it up over the upper uh, Great Lakes, mm, clipper to the southeast. Then we have the uh, storm makes its way offshore. The Euro really isn't all that impressive. And then the Canadian uh, kind of keeps the Nurlon trough here. All right, you can read all about these Nurlon troughs, okay, in my uh, vid in my discussion. For those of you who skip the discussion, for those of you slackers who skip the discussion and went right to the video, I recommend you read my discussion so you can find out about these Nurlon troughs and how it will influence this event. Again, guys, I uh, looking at primarily rain uh, snow event here, likely because of the um, Arctic. Um, you know, qualities of this event, okay, where it's coming from, polar vortex and everything, looks like an all snow event. So yeah, that is my thinking as of right now, and I really hope you enjoy this forecast video. Stay tuned and please spread the word of our website, and have a great day.